Welcome to I Know What You Did Last Shift, where we show everyone why police are the standing army our founding fathers warned us against. Today's video will be about recent breaking news of a retired cop shooting up a biker bar. It all happened on August 23rd, 2023 in Southern California. Retired Ventura Police Sergeant John Snowling arrived at Cook's Corner. His target was his wife, or his ex-wife, who was a regular at the bar on Santiago Canyon Road. He fired on her and then began shooting randomly. Cook's Bar was having their weekly $8 spaghetti night, a family-friendly event, when Snowling, armed with two handguns, approached his ex-wife, who was in the process of divorcing him, immediately shot her once, wounding her, then shot the woman with whom she was dining with. Snowling's ex-wife friend later died. Then, out of nowhere, Snowling randomly began shooting at anyone. At one point, Snowling returned to his truck in an upper parking lot where he was confronted by a man from the bar whom Snowling also shot. That man, who also has not been identified, later died. When deputies arrived within two minutes of the first 911 call, they found Snowling in the parking lot. The former cop began firing at deputies, hitting multiple law enforcement vehicles. A gunfight ensued, and it was gunfire from those deputies that ultimately took the life of Snowling. Seven deputies opened fire, firing at least 75 shots. After the shooting, deputies recovered four weapons Snowling had brought to the scene, two pistols, a revolver, and a shotgun. All were acquired legally. One of the men who was killed was John Leahy, 67, of Irvine. The other victims had not been publicly identified due to police not being able to notify the victims' families. Mark Johnson, pianist for the Orange County Band that was performing at the bar Wednesday night, said two members of the M Street Band were hit and were hospitalized but stable. Johnson's drummer, Brian Lynch, and singer Debbie Johnson said in a video that guitarist Ed Meads and bassist Dave Stretch were in the hospital. Lynch said they were all going to be okay. Investigators were still searching for a motive. Snowling, who used to share a home with his wife in Camarillo, was most recently living in Ohio. He recently traveled back to Southern California, and it wasn't immediately clear if he followed his estranged wife to the bar or found out she was going there. On Thursday morning, heavily armed Orange County Sheriff's deputies surrounded Snowling's home in the Camarillo neighborhood of El Capitan Place, not far from Adolfo Camarillo High School. Deputies ordered any occupants to exit as they prepared to serve a search warrant. Two vehicles were in the driveway, but no one exited. It wasn't immediately clear what deputies seized or hoped to find in the search. Snowling worked for the Ventura Police Department from 1986 to 2014, rising to the rank of sergeant. According to a department spokesman, he served as the president of the city's police union in 2008 and 2009, records show. In December 2022, Maurice Snowling filed for divorce, writing that she had been in December 2022. Two, Maurice Snowling filed for divorce, writing that she had been estranged from her husband for two years. Court filing show the couple had been married almost 32 years when they separated in November 2020. Her attorney wrote, citing irreconcilable differences as the reason for the split. The case file contains no allegations of acrimony or abuse. To close out this video, this is another example of the saying and how true it is that. Cops don't become psychopaths. Psychopaths become cops. Either way, it's still FTP.